Good morning, class. Today, once again, we are going to talk about tissues. We, in the last class, had finished talking about animal tissues, and today we are going to talk about. Oh, sorry. Yesterday we talked about plant tissues. We finished it. Uh, we have uploaded a few parts of it. You please go through it. Now today we are going to talk about animal tissues, and this is going to be part one of animal tissues. Okay. So I told you on the broader category, while classifying tissues, we find two types on the basis of the origin of the tissue. Number one is the plant tissue, and number two is the animal tissue. Today we are talking about animal tissues. On any animal tissue category, we have four classifications depending upon the functionality of the tissue. So the four classifications of animal tissues are epithelial tissues, connective tissues, muscular tissues, and nervous tissues. Epithelials are the one which will help to protect the inner lining cells or the organs. Connective tissues are the one which will connect two or more different tissues. Muscular tissues are the one which will form our muscles. That is the external nerve part. And obviously, nervous tissues are the one which conduct different signals and senses from one part of the body to the brain through spinal cord. Broadly characterized and summarized. Summary, summary I have given. Now we'll talk about each one of them separately. The epithelial. So starting with the epithelial tissue. Okay, so epithelial tissues are basically having protection as protective nature. Most of the times, epithelial tissues are present over different organs. They form the outermost covering of our organs, be it the liver or the lungs or the kidney. They are present almost at every place. They basically do the function of protection of organs and the cavities. The word cavity means hollow spaces. As we have buccal cavity, mouth, there's a hollow space inside a mouth. There's food pipe, we have a hollow space in our food pipe. So all these are known as cavity. Let us focus on the features which I have given, I have written down for the epithelial tissues. Number one, they are tightly packed. They are tightly packed with each other. There is no intercellular spaces. This means there is no gap between two adjacent cells. The two adjacent cells lie close together. And they are cemented by glyco. They are cemented by glycoproteins. This means if this is the cell, the two cells lie very close to each other. This is the first point. They are tightly packed with no intercellular space. There is no intercellular space between them. They are connected, cemented by glycoproteins. And these gaps are filled up by glycoproteins which act as a cement or the connecting material between the cells of this tissue that is the epithelial tissue and the main function of it is protective tissue we have got four features they are one tightly packed no intercellular spaces cemented by glycoproteins and they have a protective nature and on the basis where they are present, this tissue where they are present, their location and their other functions, we have got. Oh, sorry, it's not type. It, I should write it. I should write this as 
functions talking about the functions of the epithelial tissues they have been categorized as
and the amount of lymph present in our body is very less as compared to the blood. So when there is a cut, we never see lymph coming out because the color of the blood will suppress it. Since it is whitish in color and this is reddish in color, the red color will overcome the white color and hence we do not feel like lymph has been coming out of the wood. Most of the times lymph also does the, these functions only but in a very lesser way most of these things are transported through blood and very less of the time it is done by lymph. But lymph has some function to do with defense mechanism of the body also. Then we have skeletal muscles. The skeletal muscles means the one by which our skeletal system has been made up of. Skeletal system means our bones, our framework of this body has been made up of something. That is called the skeletal muscles. This body is made up of skeleton. So skeleton is made up of two things. Number one is bones. Bones are very hard like hard calcium made substances. They have different shapes in our body. At the red cage, they are somewhat circular. In the ear, it is flexible, but in the red cage, it is not flexible. In the thighs, in the leg, they are very long. So they have can be of different shapes or sizes depending upon the location and the function what they are doing. Location at which they are present and the function which they are doing. And cartilages are the material which are present just at the end of the bones. Uh, if, if this is a bone, this is a bone, at the end point there will be there is presence of something which is called cartilage. It what it does, it smoothens the movement of the bones. It will smoothen the movement of the bones so that that the bones don't get rubbed off. They don't get eroded off. Okay, so this is this is about bones and cartilages. They form the framework of the they form the framework of the body. Then we come to fibrous connective tissue. Since now you see we have got
skin to the bone and then also uh, skin to the muscle and also bind as nervous tissues and this blood and the liver together carry out the function to transport different material from one place to another okay so we have come to the end of this video in the next video we will talk about muscular tissue